Coco, the gorilla we all loved so much, was one of the few apes that was able to communicate using gorilla sign language, a modified version of the American Sign Language. But she became even more popular after she made friends with the man who will always be remembered, not only as one of the greatest actors of all time, but an amazing humanitarian who made many laugh too. One and only Robin Williams. The first encounter between Coco and Robin that later turned into a special friendship took place in 2001. Before we continue with the rest of the video, we could use your help. Click the like button to help spread word about Watch Jojo Animals, and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Speaking of the unique opportunity to be around Coco, late Robin said, I recently had a mind-altering experience communicating with a gorilla. Her name is Coco. Why Robin made a choice to pay Coco a visit in the first place was because he cared about others so very much and was always to go above and beyond to see both people and animals thriving. He learned Coco was devastated and depressed after her playmate died, so Robin somehow knew he could make a change in her life and he was right. Six months after she lost her childhood friend, Coco laughed for the first time when she met Robin. Notice that Robin made Coco smile, something she hadn't done for over six months, ever since her childhood gorilla companion, Michael, passed away at the age of 27, said Francine Patterson, Coco's caregiver as reported by Today. Everyone could say they had fun and a huge impact on one another. Coco tried Robin's glasses and stole his wallet. Robin's ability to just hang out with Coco, a gorilla, and in minutes become one of her closest friends was extraordinary and unforgettable, Patterson said. But not only did Robin cheer up Coco, the effect was mutual, and Robin seemed transformed. We shared something extraordinary, laughter. Coco understands spoken English and uses over 1,000 to share her feelings and thoughts about daily events, life, love, even death, Robin said at the time. Coco was born at the San Francisco Zoo and spent her whole life around humans whom she loved. Her caregivers reported that when she heard of Robin's tragic passing, she signed Cry. Coco truly was a very special animal. Experts who got to work with her said her intelligence matched that of a three-year-old child. She understood around 2,000 words of spoken English and expressed human-like behaviour. Through mastery of sign language, the familiar hand speech of the deaf Coco has made us her human companions, aware not only that her breed is bright, but also that it shares sensitivities commonly held to be the prerogative of people, Patterson said. One of the most famous photographs of Coco, which brought her even greater popularity, is the one where she was posing with a camera, taking a picture of herself in the mirror, which was on the cover of the National Geographic magazine, published in 1978. What was even more incredible about this world-famous ape is that she had a cat pet that she took care of and raised like her own child, named Orball. That cat was a manx and looked like a ball, said Ron Cohen, a biologist with the foundation. Coco likes to rhyme words in sign language. Once Coco ripped a steel sink from the wall and signed, the cat did it. The relationship between Coco and Orball is still dubbed as one of the most unusual and sweetest friendships between animals of different kinds. Coco passed away in 2018 at the age of 46. Rest in peace, sweet Coco, you will be dearly missed.